The main reason for microbiological testing is that currently approved antimicrobial treatments cannot guarantee total elimination of all pathogens from seed. Even if only a few pathogens survive a seed disinfection treatment, they can grow to high levels during sprouting. Spent irrigation water from each production lot should be tested microbiologically to ensure that contaminated product is not distributed. Testing irrigation water rather than the sprouts themselves is recommended because it is fairly uniform and requires fewer sample preparation steps and fewer samples compared to sprouts. If the sprouts are grown in soil and spent irrigation water is not available, the sprouts themselves may be tested. The sprouts also may be tested in addition to the irrigation water. It is possible to obtain test results before shipping product without losing product shelf life because testing for pathogens can be done with irrigation water as early as 48 hours into what is generally a three to five day growing period. Testing may be done by the producer or contracted out, but it should be done by trained personnel in a qualified laboratory using validated methods. The microbial testing required involves a number of hazards, including growing pathogenic bacteria and disposing of contaminated waste materials. While a variety of microbiological tests might be performed, the main pathogens of concern are Salmonella species and E. coli 0157H7, which have caused sprout-associated foodborne illness outbreaks. Therefore, these will be the target microorganisms. A sampling plan should be decided upon before sample collection begins. The sampling plan will identify when the samples will be taken. The current recommendation is that samples are taken about 48 hours into the growing period. Next, it will identify the number and size of samples to be taken from each lot. A lot is defined as sprouts from a single lot of seed that were planted at the same time in a single growing unit, meaning a single drum or rack of trays. A lot number reflects the seed used and the production date and time. Careful record keeping will help minimize product loss in the event that a micro test is positive. Pooling or combining samples from different lots will make the interpretation of the results more difficult. If a positive sample is found, all lots represented by the pooled sample should be discarded or held for further testing. Further, pooling may dilute pathogens, if present, to a level where they may not be detected. The sampling plan should also state what test method will be used for each target microorganism. Sample collection should be done by personnel that have been trained to collect representative samples aseptically. A representative sample is one that accurately represents the whole lot. If sprouts are grown in drums or in trays with a common water outlet, a single one liter sample should be collected as water leaves the growing unit. If sprouts are grown in trays and there is no common collection point for water from the trays, it will be necessary to collect water from individual trays. The amount taken from each tray should be approximately the same. Collecting the entire sample from one tray would not be representative of the whole lot. Samples should be collected at the beginning of the irrigation cycle especially when irrigation uses a large volume of water or lasts a relatively long time. Aseptic sample collection means that the procedures are designed to avoid introducing microorganisms from the hands, sample containers, air, or anything except the sample itself. Aseptic procedures are critical to avoid contamination of the sample during sample collection, storage, and transportation. Equipment used to collect samples should be clean and sterile. Sample containers may include pre-sterilized plastic bags, tubes, cups, and flasks. Containers should be properly labeled to identify the sample, lot, time, and date of sampling. Sample collectors should wear a clean lab coat, gloves, and hair covering in order to prevent contamination of the sample by the collector. Any sampling instruments, such as cups or tongs, should be protected from contamination before and during use and used only once so that each sample is taken with a fresh, sterile utensil. The sample container should be filled about three quarters full to prevent overflow. Samples should be delivered to the laboratory promptly and not held for any length of time before analysis. Preferably, samples should be stored at temperatures no greater than 40 degrees Fahrenheit if analyses cannot be performed within the first two hours after sampling. A sample of spent irrigation water should be collected for each production lot or batch. At least one liter of spent irrigation water should be taken as the water leaves the drum or trays during the irrigation cycle. 